Well, the life of a Marine starts the minute a recruit leaves home. Hundreds of men and women across Northeast Wisconsin take on the challenge every year. So just what goes into making a Marine? NBC 26's Shane Gustafson takes us inside boot camp. Shane. Yeah, Jenna Cassandra, it's a 13 week process, but for some it feels a lot longer. Each test a battle against themselves to show that they have what it takes to earn the title of U.S. Marine. It's the middle of the night in San Diego. Are you sit up straight and look at me now? This bus, full of new recruits, is making its first and only stop boot camp. I gave up a nice job I had back home. I was going to school. I had my family. I was living at home. I had a car. What am I doing in boot camp? It's a question a lot of Marines, including Noah Huntley from Green Bay, ask themselves when they give up their lives for the Marines. Don't talk to anyone. This means you will do what I tell you to do, how fast I tell you to do it, when I tell you to do it, do you understand that? Yes, sir! But for almost everybody standing on these iconic yellow footsteps, becoming a Marine is their dream. It means that I'm not anything anymore. It means that this uniform is a representation of every Marine who's gone and fought at Iwo Jima or Okinawa or um, that are in Afghanistan, Iraq right now or wherever they are. It's not about me anymore. It's about the core. It's about our country. It's about protecting and defending those uh, who are back here. For the next 13 weeks, these men shave their heads, go through obstacle courses, visit Camp Pendleton, and learn how to fight. Marching becomes an everyday routine, and getting ready each morning becomes only a 15-minute process. It all comes down to the crucible. Marching 45 miles through the California mountains in just 54 hours, never knowing what comes next, but focusing on the end result. But after you finish the Reaper hike and the crucible, and the drill instructors looked at you, and one of my drill instructors sat down with me at breakfast and said, good morning, Marine, how are you doing? That really just made it all worth it. That, it made me feel like I've actually accomplished something in my life. It's your responsibility to uphold the honor and legacy of those Marines have gone before you. And it's a feeling that runs deep. Not everybody earns the title of Marine, but the few that do are proud of their accomplishments. To see that he's stepping into a line of um, men who have defended the country just brings tears to my eyes. I'm just so proud of him. These Marines say they don't do it for the recognition. They do it because it's their calling and their duty to protect the United States. Because I thought about all of the other Marines that have been um, standing in that very place and all the great things that they had done. I thought, my God, my son is doing this as well. I couldn't be more proud. And it all comes together in graduation. There's nothing you can prepare for. I couldn't prepare for boot camp because it's just something else. I couldn't prepare for the crucible because it's something else. I couldn't prepare for the reaper because it's something else. I can't prepare for it. Now tomorrow night, we'll take you to that graduation and follow another Marine family from Northeast Wisconsin, reunited for the first time with their son in months. You won't want to miss that part right here on NBC 26 at 10. John and Cassandra. We'll look forward to it. Shane, thanks so much.